I'm going to show you how to use Google Sites and I'm doing this as a demonstration of how to figure it out when you're really not familiar with it and don't really know what you're doing, which is me right now. So what I'm in is in my Google Drive and that's a good way to get anything Google. I hover over the, the Google Apps logo which looks like a waffle iron and there I see Sites. So I'm going to click on that. Now, what I want to do is use the new Google Sites, which is much more intuitive than the old one. So I'm going to click New Google Sites. You'll see that I've been playing just a little bit, and I have three sites. So now I want to create a new, a, a new site. And so I'm not sure what to do, so I look around and follow my nose and see that in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a plus sign, so let's try that. I hover over it, it says create new site. Click. And there I have a new site, and it invites me to enter my page title. So let's just call this demo for now. And even as I do that, I see that it's inviting me to change the image. So let's try that. And it wants me to upload one, so I'm going to click on that, see what happens. It actually opens to where I last was in, and it happens to be photographs. So I'm looking for something that might be a photo that would good, be a good banner. I'm going to click on that one and say open. And there it uploads the image. And it's interesting because it says adjust for readability. So if I click here, you see how bright that is? And if I adjust it for readability, it makes the image darker, which makes it easier for you to see the contrast. Right, so now I'm thinking, all right, I've got a name, but it says Untitled Site. So let's click and see what happens. I'm going to call this Demo Site. And now I think, what else should I do? And I want to put some text on it. And over here, it's inviting me to insert. So let's click Text and see what happens. There it is, Text. So for the sake of the demo, I'm going to say this is Text. I often do that to remind me when I see on a, when I'm practicing what it is that I just did. This is text, I say a text box, which I can also see that I can um, do various things with it, bold italics and everything else, but I'm not going to do anything for now. So let's, okay, I've got a text box. I want, let's say I want an image. So I click image, let's see, upload, and it takes me back to these images. Let's try uh, this one, put that one in, and there it is, it's a text box, and I can crop it. It looks like I can uncrop, I can insert a link, and more editing options. I can add alt text, which is a good thing to do for people using screen reader, so let's do that. And I'm going to say kayak at sunset. It's probably good enough as an alternative text. And I might want, let's, maybe I want to say something about that, so I want text there. So if I just, oh, I just double clicked and it gives me an option to put stuff in. So let's put text and say, this is a photo of me kayaking. Actually, it wasn't sunset, it was sunrise, actually. Kayak, can't spell, kayaking at sunrise. Notice, notice coffee mug at my feet. Mile. Okay, so now I've got a picture and a text in it. So let's see what I want to embed something. So let's click embed and it says what do I want to embed? So let us embed a video and I can put in URL or embed code. So let's go to YouTube and I have a video actually that I just created about how to embed an image in a canvas post but let's get the, this is the the URL of the, the video, so I'm just going to copy it, or I could click copy there, and come back to my site here, and I'm going to paste. And there it is, paste the URL, insert. And let's, I want to put a text, so I'm going to double click next to that, text, video showing how to embed an image in Canvas. Okay, so picture, image, hmm, I can, looks like I can put in things from my drive. So let's click on drive and see what happens. 
it opens my drive and it shows me various things that I've done. Um, so let's find something on my drive that I might want to embed. Um, let's go on my Mac and let's find, um, say, I'm a, I found a Google Doc that I want to share on my site. So let's click on it and I'm going to insert. There it is. And so I have inserted image, video, and actually it looks like I've embedded a Google Doc. So let's stop for now because I think you get the idea. Let's publish it. So I'm going to publish it. And it invites me to choose a, an address for my site. And so I'm going to put, um, just because then I know it's mine, HRL's demo site. That works. And who can view my site? Anyone at the University of Minnesota. Um, I can change that to anyone or anyone at the University of Minnesota or specific people. So I'm going to leave it at, actually anyone can find and view the published version. And I'm going to say save. And done. And publish. And so it's publishing it. And there it's inviting me even to view it. So let's click view. And this is what it would look like to the public. And you notice that with the embedded Google Doc, I can actually scroll around in it. That's Google Sites 101.